Hey guys, it's Thorpian, and we're back with another RuneScape 3 Money Making Guide. Today we're going to be talking about making runes. Uh, I'm going to cover combination runes and elemental runes in this one, uh, because I think they're the basics, and they also tend to be the best money, except for maybe blood, maybe soul, depending on kind of your loadout. Um, but the other nice thing about this is you can do it at almost any level. You just will have increasing returns as you get higher level. So the first thing that we should talk about is the loadout. Um, so I am going to show you what I've got. I've got a small pouch, a medium pouch, a large pouch, a giant pouch, and a massive pouch. You want all of these pouches or as many of these pouches as you can use at your level. You want pure essence, thousands of it. Um, it's very cheap to buy on the Grand Exchange. You want astral runes if you have the Lunar Spellbook. And if you don't have the Lunar Spellbook, I, I wouldn't recommend doing this because then you have to use a talisman each time for combination runes. You can, however, uh, just do the elemental rune uh, version. So if you want to do combination runes, you definitely want magic imbue on the Lunar Spellbook. It takes a level 82 magic. You should get a Steam Battle Staff if you're going to do it to not cost you any water or fire runes. Um, you're going to want the Astral Runes. You're going to want the rune that is necessary to make your combination rune because they're combined runes, right? I think everyone gets that. Um, and then you want an Infinity Ethereal Outfit if you have it because it allows you to store additional essence in the body. Um, you also want a binding necklace if you're making combination runes because otherwise it's a 50% uh, chance to make one instead of 100%. So this is our loadout and we're also going to have a uh, familiar, in my case an Abyssal Titan. Whichever Abyssal familiar you can use is going to be the one you want. So the idea here is that you're going to open your bank, you're going to have your saved preset which is going to include your pouches, um, your essence, your gear, obviously, uh, astral runes, uh, whatever other rune you need, but, and uh, you're a full familiar. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to hit one. Uh, so unfortunately, you cannot automatically fill pouches from the bank. So what we are going to do is we're going to click to fill the massive pouch, then we're going to hit one, and then we're going to have this loadout bar set up here. So we're going to have uh, fill the giant, fill the large, we're going to take the Beast of Burden items, we're going to fill the small, fill the ethereal body, and fill the medium pouch. And then we're going to go in and click our loadout button again. So it's really fast. Uh, I would suggest putting a tick in between. I've had it uh, glitch sometimes if you just want to prove five, six really fast. Um, and then you're going to go to your altar. So in our case, the first one I'm going to show you guys is the Water Ruins or the water altar, and you're gonna craft runes. Now you have a choice, you can either craft water runes or you can uh, cast magic and view, use the air rune and make mist runes. So each run set up this way will net you 101 mist runes. Um, and depending on your rune crafting level, you will depend how many water runes you can make. Uh, now it may be <laughs> more beneficial to do water runes, you'll have to do the math yourself. So then you just run back to the bank and you can use, you know, surge, double surge, blade dive, what other, whatever movement skills you have in order to be able to maximize the speed at which you can do it. Now, in my case, uh, I'm going to run a quick test. All right, guys, so I did some uh, crunch some numbers and the average run took me about 50 seconds. I can probably do it a little bit faster, but I think that's pretty decent to use for the calculations at the end of this video. Um, uh, I think you'll notice uh, that I have durability 100% relic active. Um, at a pretty low archaeology level, you actually unlock the ability to use like a monolith power to have these pouches never degrade. And if you're going to be doing any of this, I highly recommend that you utilize that power because otherwise you have to either repair the pouch or take the pouch to like the Dark Mage and the Abyss to repair it or something else. And that's just a waste of time. So definitely use that uh, monolith power. Um, it's a huge help here. Hey guys, so now we're going to talk about the Fire Altar. Um, it's a, the exact same idea as the water altar, except you'll be able to make a different kind of rune. Um, you will also need, obviously, the matching type of rune. So in our case, we are going to be using water runes in order to show you how to do the steam runes, which are currently, I believe, the most profitable. We're going to have our ash runes again, and we're going to have a taco zo. A taco zo allows you to basically yeah, one-click quick bank, because it teleports you right next to a bank. So you click the ring, and you just... Hit three for Fight Cave, it 
teleports you right next to this guy. Very quick banking. The Ring of Dueling allows you to teleport basically right on top of the Earth Altar. Used to be that it would teleport you in such a way that you could surge to it, but now there's a tent in the way just to say, haha, you suck. Other than that, everything's the same. We filled up our rune pouches, so we're going to go ahead and hit our next preset button. And we're going to go to 1, Heads Oasis. This is going to take us right to the Fire Altar right here. Um, you could probably figure out a way to surge there, but it's... yeah, exactly. Um, and then same thing, you're going to cast Magic Imbue, you're going to use the Water Rune, you're going to use the Fire Altar, and you're going to hit your Tackle Zoe, and you're going to go to the Fight Cave. And that's how you make Steam Runes. So you make about 100 Steam Runes per trip, and I'm going to calculate real quick how long these trips take. Right, so each trip took me about 35 seconds. I'm a little slow. They apparently generally take around 30, so it's up to you guys how you would like to proceed with that. Um, you are going to have to have use up charges of a Ring of Dueling, obviously. Um, other than that, it's exactly the same method. So next, we're going to pop over to the Earth Altar. This is not actually usually uh, beneficial anymore. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So exact same setup as before. This time we are going to throw in a Lumberyard Teleport. So, Lumberyard Teleport. And we're going to use that instead of our Ring of Dueling. And we're going to go ahead and save this preset so that we can do it again faster after that. So I'm making sure everything's kosher. Okay, all right. All right, here we go. So Lumberyard. And if you're going to use this method, you're going to have to obviously account for the cost of those Lumberyard teleports, and the Earth Runes are right here. So again, Magic Imbue, Water on Earth gives you Mud. And then you just use your Taklozo to teleport back. So overall, this is a pretty good money-making method, actually, surprisingly. So I used it for a while. I made like 10, 20 million. Uh, I got a little bored, but it's something I would definitely do again. Uh, so here's the calculations of how fast those are, because each of them obviously is a different time. You make a different amount of money. And it's going to use the time that it took me to make the runs, because apparently somebody out there can make like 90 trips to the water altar uh, per hour, and I, I don't have the ability to concentrate that hard for that long. Okay guys, so here are all the numbers uh, for how much money you can make per hour using this method. It's actually pretty impressive for some of this stuff, given that it's all skilling and it seems like a lot of PDM focuses on a lot of things. Uh, one thing I would keep in mind though is that these combo runes don't necessarily sell very well all the time. Uh, they started to be better than they used to be, but just keep in mind that it may be difficult to sell them, but they should sell and the prices have been increasing on the GE, so they should remain kind of stable-ish. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And uh, please remember to like, subscribe, uh, and I'll follow and all the things. Uh, thank you, and goodbye.